Oh, jeez. Oh, please. Oh, he's actually waking up. Hello everybody, Machu Picchu here, and today we are playing a subscriber request, a game, The Convenience Store. Um, this is a horror game that is based in a store, I think in Japan, if I am not mistaken. Um, apart from that, I do not know too much more about this game, so let's go ahead and just get into it. It's time. Need to get ready for work. Uh, Slept well. <laughs> the voice actually scared me a little bit. It's dark outside. Um, oh, we can open the fridge. Okay. I guess we need to microwave this meal. Where is the microwave? Is there a microwave? I don't see anywhere to cook. Oh, there it is. Warm it up. Um, yeah, let's do it. Oh, we can leave the room. I thought we had to do the objective first. Okay, uh, let's see what's this. Change clothes, yes. Okay. Uh, let me change the sensitivity again. There we go. Got the sensitivity a lot better. Eat bento? Yeah. I like bento. <laughs> uh. Okay. Well, I can't click on... Did the clock just stop? Oh, okay. No, I just had to get closer to it. Okay. Well, we have eaten everything in our fridge. I suppose the only thing to do is to go to the convenience store. That was not intentional, I promise. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, well, maybe there's some food in this fridge. I'll close this door. Oh, this is our bathroom. No, this is the second kitchen. Oh, gosh. Gotta bring flashlight. Okay. Uh, it's, I didn't expect her to start talking. Oh, okay. Well, where's the flashlight you were just talking about? I didn't see a flashlight all the way up here. Oh, there it is. Yep, pick up the flashlight, please. Um, no, there's nothing else really I can do here, okay. Oh, are we leaving? We are leaving! We cannot shut the door, so anyone can just walk in, that's cool. Okay, um, let's see here. We need to... I suppose we need to find... the store, right? Yeah, okay. I didn't think we were actually going to end up walking through. See, right, we obviously can't just walk off in there. It's not an action game. Okay. Um, how do we tell which one of these places are a store? Can we just oh, okay. We can't just open random places. I assume the store is down this way. I also assume I probably need to remember the way back, but unfortunately. I already can't remember which way I came from. <laughs> well, actually, I can. I came from that direction. All the way at the corner of the town. It's so quiet. I wouldn't even go get groceries this time of night. Anyways. It just seems like a bad idea. Oh, I thought that pole was someone following me. Gave me chills for a second. Hmm. You just keep going this way? Past the wall of the town? Oh, we do! That's so funny! Okay, so the convenience store is actually kind of outside of the, the town. Hmm. 
That's kind of cool, I think. That is a bright little convenience store that we got here. Hello? Hello. What do we need to buy? We didn't even make a grocery list for ourselves. I wonder if the guy in the store thinks it's a little bit weird that we're carrying around a flashlight. Oh, boy. Well, then. See all the magazines. <laughs> okay, so again, how do I... Do I just need to buy more bento box? Ah, okay. The shelf looks fun. Okay. What do you want to buy the entire shelf? Looks like some are expired. The shelf looks fine. Okay. Why? Oh. Do we need to use the bathroom? Excuse me. Thank you for always keeping the toilet clean. Oddly convincing. All right. Well, <laughs> the toilet just opens up for us. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It welcomes you to the latrine. Should I talk to him? Oh God, you made it. Hmm. Oh no, it's just recently I heard someone had fell off the bridge you just crossed. There was an old lady that said that she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way? Scary stuff. If only this was a true story. If only it was a true story, hopefully it's not. <laughs> oh boy, sorry. Oh, okay, is he just gonna keep apologizing? What are you waiting for, punch in? Oh, we need to work here. We need to work here. Oh, I'm s okay. Okay, that's, that's what I'm supposed to do. How do I punch in? I'm over here trying to shop for groceries. I work here. That's what we changed the clothes for. Thought maybe we changed clothes in order to, uh, I don't know, use CCTV, sure. Oh, we can look through several security cameras. Okay, so there are three. This one, that one, and that one. No, there are four. Okay. I think some food are expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me, your manager? Okay. Oh, and this is the time card. Okay, where do I punch this in at? Oops, walked into the wall. Is it out here? Hmm. Where do I punch in at? Is this it? Yep, that's it. All right. Oh, hey, he just left? Oh. Well, I guess we should exit. We should go ahead and take off the expired food. Are you just gone, buddy? Okay, goodbye forever, I suppose. Okay. So this was fine. We need to take these off the shelf. Yes. Um, I'm guessing we need to throw these out back. Let's follow this dude. Hopefully he takes me to where I need to go. You okay, buddy? Just kind of look at his face. Okay. All right. I mean, you do you. Mm. Is that the garbage can? Yep. Trash expired food. I'm kind of sad our co-worker's gone. I thought he was going to be there with us. Oh, we can just come in the back. Okay. No, we cannot. Whoopsies. We'll just shut that door then. Here he goes. Bye, buddy. Oh, there's another car here. We didn't drive. And the flag went through their car. All right. Is anyone else here? Oh, there's another person here. My bad. Okay, we'll go ahead and enter the counter. Man, he walks super slow. 
And their walk's weird. Okay. What? What is that? Do we just... Okay. Alright. Thank you. Come again. Alright. We checked out our first customer. Look at us go. We're already professionals. Still miss our early co-worker. Stuff looks fine. Um... Take items off shelf? Yes. And there's another expired food right here, so we'll go ahead and take this out back real quick. And this is going real smooth. I think this is going to be so easy. <laughs> go ahead and throw out this trash real quick. Nothing unusual here going on yet. That's bizarre. Okay. Alright, so we're not able to interact with these food or that food. Um. Hmm. Okay, so we can't take out those. Alright, I think we got all the expired food off the shelf. If I'm not mistaken. We can't even check on them anymore. Yeah, we must be done then. Alright, then I guess we'll just... Get behind the counter. Hello. I'll take it. It's kind of late for a delivery man at this time, huh? We've recently incorporated this system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to this store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. I think this is for you. That's weird. All right. Thanks, buddy. Take it home. What? Okay. What? It was a VHS tape? Are we... Did we... Is there a shift then? Are we done? What? What's going on? Wait a minute. Okay, so what are we microwaving? More bento? Let's put this down for a second. Okay, we cannot do that. Guess we have to put it into the TV. Okay, um... Was there nothing in the microwave? That was weird. Okay. See this VHS tape? That was loud. That was very loud. Are we able to play it? Watch closely. Why do we have to watch it closely? Why can't we watch it from afar? What is this? That was weird. Can we watch it again? Or, wait, I'm confused. Okay, there, there was tape. The, the yellow police tape stuff. Okay. Well, that's a bit weird. Why would you send me a tape of something like that? Okay, I guess there's nothing going on in these. We'll just take our flashlight again. Time to go relieve our coworker of- <gasps> Did we change clothes? I forgot to change clothes. I guess we don't have to change clothes this time. Oh, wait. Yeah, I guess we just kind of slept in them. Or did we just leave the convenience store open with nobody there? That would be a very... First night. Okay. First night? I thought yesterday was our first night. Just making our way to the convenience store. Nothing suspicious going on here. Isn't this the bridge that the dude was just telling us about? Wait, doesn't he live across... No, actually, I remember he drove the opposite way. Never mind. He does not live in the same area as us. Which is unfortunate. Oh, look, there's some vending machines out here. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, so I heard you reported that the doors would open on their own. Well, we got a guy to check the sensor, and it seems like the wirings were loose. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist. I see those on TV all the time, but they are scripted. Ghosts aren't real after all. 
Okay. Would you please punch in? Okay. All right, let's check for expired foods real quick. Do we even need to? Oh, I guess not. It doesn't prompt me to check for any expired foods. Yeah. All right. Hmm. I thought it was strange that the doors were opening on their own. So he says it was a wiring issue. Okay. So does this one say the... I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. The first person to see this note has to get rid of the rodents ASAP. Your manager. Now how do I do that? Punch in. Yep. Oh, is he off again? Alright, well, since we just punched in, I'm just going to go straight to try to take care of the rats. So we'll go ahead and go this way. Excuse me, buddy. Where do we take care of the rats? Can't just... Oh! Oh, it's a granny. Okay. Well, since you're taking your time, granny, we'll just... Uh, we'll just go back here and try to figure out this rat issue. Yeah, I see. Just open this door. What's this? Zero out of six. Oh, okay. Nice. There's one. There's two. Um, there's another one. Okay. Or, wait a minute. This tape. Wasn't that part of the video? Hmm. Some suspicious things are starting to happen. And I don't think I appreciate that too much. Oh, the old lady just got inside. Perfect. I was worried that she was going to get inside and get her groceries before we got over there. But it appears that everything went just fine. Our walking is really slow. Hello. Guess we'll just chill behind the store counter. Hello. Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigars? Hurry up. What? It's not my job to go and get you that stuff. You go get it yourself. That, I thought you were in a hurry. You should be out here helping me. Hmm. Yeah, go get it yourself. That's what I'm saying. Where's the beer? Is this the beer? Okay, we got him. One beer. And five. And you wanted a pack of cigars. Which, where are those? Exactly. I don't know where the cigars would be. Oh, behind the counter, of course. Go ahead and grab those. Here you go. All right, there you go. Oh, now, now you gotta pay, of course. Of course, of course. Okay, here we go. You're welcome. Where's my tip? Okay. Was there another person who entered? Or was that the, the elder lady? Let's go check on her, actually. Cause she entered the bathroom a while ago, didn't she? Oh, there she is. Hey. Uh, how you doing? All right, you just you just gonna stand there like a creepy person? Oh, okay. Okay, that's a little weird. Why is she just standing there? That's weird. Oh, okay. Where's Kinkun? You know where Kinkun is? I thought I heard his voice. This was my daughter's house? What did you do? How dare you? Um, you okay? Okay. Okay, that's a little bit weird. I'm, gl I'm glad to find out she just had something to say. That was scaring me. I'm like, she's just chilling. Bye, Granny. Oh, somebody came in. Check it out. What? 
but nobody's here. Mmm. No. I'm not liking this one bit. Stop. Stop. Nobody's out here. Hmm. Yeah, fix it. No? That's okay, I didn't want to fix it anyways. I want to stay in my cozy little corner over here. Well, you know what they say, poltergeists need products too? Okay. Just gonna close that door and check the cameras. I feel safe in my little cubby hole. What? What? Wait, 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 wait. Is that a child out there? <gasps> what was that? That was weird. Is everything okay out there? Why are we going out there to check? Looks like they went around this way. Oh, you almost hit me! What's the matter with you? Oh, hey. Oh, it's the delivery guy, isn't it? No? Okay. Oh, you don't have to deliver stuff to me if you don't want to. Can I have your car? Alright, well this guy obviously wants some stuff. I just saw the kid back there. Hello. Good to see you again. Oh, you know, the unstoppable trend on ordering everything online. Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. What? What do you mean? Package. Oh. I didn't even notice that before. That's strange. Yep, here. Here you go. You're welcome. Okay. I don't remember that box being there before. Nah, I'm overthinking things. Okay, um, guess we should walk from out from behind the counter at least. Let's go check the back room. Second night. Okay. Um Guess we're just already ready to go, huh? What? Umbrella. Oh, of course, of course, umbrella. Hello? Hmm. What? What? What is that? Is. Yes. That's so strange. Now they know where we live. <laughs> well, that's not good. Nothing. Nothing like that sounds good to me. Okay. All right. Let's put in the VHS tape and see what's on it. Hmm. Just like with the first one, I'm more confused than anything. But I'm gonna try and look for the blue coloring. Why do we have our umbrella open inside of the house? Alright. Alright, almost to work. And that rain is going to make it difficult for me to hear if there are people outside the convenience store, huh? I suppose that's the point of the rain. Ah, oh, my ears feel better. Where's the other guy? Oh, 
Okay. But that noise was something else other than what it is. Hmm. Go, worker. Oh, jeez, why? What were you doing? Why would you do that? Ah, oh, boo, I got you good, huh? No, I wasn't scared. Okay, okay. Fine, I'll stop. I promise I won't do it again. You... What? Someone's been sending you VHS tapes. That sounds like a perfect idea for a horror flick. Hmm, it's probably just a prank. I doubt it's anything. I mean, come on, it's just a video. He says you. You're the dude who jumps out and scares me, apparently. Some products were missing on the shelf. I always keep the shelves full, that's our motto. So please restock them by tomorrow morning. Your manager. That won't be too hard. What can a videotape do to you? You want me just to punch in? Yeah, you do. Okay, let's do it. No, oh, punch in. There we go. Is he off? Yep, he's off. All right. While he's while he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and get the things. I don't know why, but I feel so much safer when he's here. So let's quickly. Okay, I think we need one bento. We'll start off with the the freezer stuff first. Yes, there it is. Wait, these aren't freezer stuff, are they? I can't remember. No, they are not. Uh, where does this go again? No, not down here. Crap, well, there goes that guy. Uh, I felt so secure with him here. I'm so sad. Okay. Um, we're just going to drop this right here. Um, I think this is the item we were looking for, if I'm not mistaken. What? Why? What? Why? Wait. Why can't... Well, I can't really do anything for the customer if I'm stuck in here. Why am I stuck? Hello? Oh, we're invisible. Oh, what was that? Can we go out this way instead? Oh! Okay, thank goodness. Alright, we will stock this up. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Someone, I thought, entered this door. Is someone going to back room? Oh, now we have a customer. Hello. All right. I'm Hamada. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning? Your boss seemed desperate in keeping the food fresh. Hate to be working this late, but he pays me well, you know. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right out. Okay. Hey, that's cool of me. Let's shut this door real quick so it doesn't freak me out again. Um, I'm assuming these are the things that I need. Go ahead and stock those. We need to shut that door. That does not need to be open. Okay. Right here? Yep. Let's do it. Restock that. So we do need some more of these. Let's see if I can't find those. Uh, we'll go ahead and figure out where these go to. I'm sure these go somewhere. Let's try and figure it out. Is it right here? No? Hmm. Oh, right here. There it is. Nice. A stocked store is a happy store. Okay, so do we need to stock anything else? We good? Oh, jeez. The rain scared the crap out of me. Oh, my gosh. 
Ugh. I did not expect that. What's that? There's something right there. On the other side? That's weird. Oh. Okay. We just get ourselves a new tool. Okay. Is he back in here? Oh no, it's some other person. Okay. I thought we, I thought they were gonna end up being some sort of ghost or something. I'm like, no. Oh dude, he didn't even say bye, he just left. How rude. Oh hello. I'll um do you want me to just uh Oh right, right, right. Scan the thing in front of me. Hey. Are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of manager puts a girl on a midnight shift alone? I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Now be careful. Okay, I'll take it. Sure. That was a mistake. That was a mistake, wasn't it? I shouldn't have taken the charm. It's probably some sort of charm that brings ghosts to me. Okay. Use the CCTV again. There's anything going on. Wait a minute, the back. Um, that's not normal. Here, we'll take our uh, our new trusty weapon, which can go through walls, and we're gonna go check out. And... What was that? That's weird. Stop. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, not in the bathroom. We'll just stay in the corner. Oh, hey! Someone messed up our stuff. Are they still here? <laughs> the ring caught me again. Hmm. This is weird. It's locked. There's a person just chilling behind here. That's weird. That's beyond weird. Okay, back to the cameras. Oh, jeez! What was that? Okay. Okay. Alright, where's our trusty weapon? Gosh, you scared the crap out of me. Oh, that was a big nope. That was a big n nope. Pick up talismans? Okay. What are we doing with the talismans? Are we looking for the ghost? By chance? Because I am not okay with that. 
Oh, we're gonna put him on the door out here? That's actually really smart. Okay. Alright, there we go. Exercise the door, yes! Awesome! Now we don't want to know, or now we don't need to know what's inside of there, because whatever it is, it has talismans on it. Easy peasy. I have a feeling that that's not going to be into that. We'll pick back up our little weapon here. I can't pick it up now. There we go. Is there anything else we need to do out here? Oh, open the AC. Okay, I guess that's what we're going to be doing. Key? A key. Wait, 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 what? The manager? For what? Uh oh. Oh no! Oh jeez. Oh please. Oh, he's actually waking up. Hey. What's up, buddy? Um. Third night. Okay. Okay. I, I don't know if I can sleep after... Oh, what a nightmare. Was it all a dream? Was it? Was it all a dream? Pick up flashlight. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, well... Oh, there's another tape, of course. Let's watch it and see what it is. It's outside the door. Hmm. What if the blue one before was the air conditioner? It's like it's telling me what I need to do. Oh gosh. Is he in the thing? He's in there, isn't he? You're gonna do it again, aren't you? No? Wait, there's no time card. Whoa, what happened? What? Oh, there are TVs everywhere. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, okay, this isn't good. Okay, well. Okay. Do we need to go outside? going on oh there's no longer a little thing in between us anymore let's check the cameras please nothing spooky okay one of the cameras don't work oh boy oh <gasps> 
There is a child thing walking through the halls. Oh, they're coming for me! Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, that, that wasn't cool. That wasn't cool of you. I'm just gonna shut this door. Ugh. Okay. Where did they go? Oh, okay, I see them. What are they doing? Okay, so this one. This one? Is that right? No. Alright. So that one. That one. That one. Okay. And this one. Okay. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Whoa, what is that? What? What happened? Everything's back to normal? Oh. Did someone just enter? Where's the dude? Oh no. Oh boy. Fourth night. Oh gosh. Alright, let's watch the tape. Let's watch it. Yes. Oh boy, now it knows where we live. What happened? I can't move, okay. It's a cutscene? I can't move. Oh no. There's a shadow. Whoa, what is that? What happened? Oh, that was the end of the game. Okay, well, the achievement I just got said um, ending two, so I am actually going to see if I can't get ending number one. All right, guys, so um, there are actually three endings. The first ending we got was this one right here. Um, the second one, I think I'm going to go with the garbage cam one. So let's go ahead and do it. We throw away the tape. Yes, I am sure.
the same ending. I can't move. Oh, I see him again. Uh, yep, there he goes. Okay, so playing the tape ending and throwing the tape away ending are both pretty close to the same ending. The only difference is, is with the play the tape ending, you get you get to see what's on the tape. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the third ending. Let's see what happens when we put it in a box. Hopefully it'll do something different than the other two. Oh, we're sending it off to somebody else. Okay. I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. Hmm. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. I Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair to clear up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what had happened and why. So I turned to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location of where the building was made. One comment on a strange forum stood out to me. It said, there seemed to have been gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments in 2009. There was a case where a man who was the mainstay of the family committed a murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th, the man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off to a grocery shopping to a local supermarket. When the wife came back, it is said that she was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself on the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nails punctured onto her along with her child in her stomach. Ugh. I wanted to throw up from the obscene images, but I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work, and he had complained to several colleagues, and on the day of the incident, it is said that he had an emotionless face. Imagining what the family had gone through, depression and hatred occupied my head. It was very painful with tears in my eyes. I closed the internet gently and called the manager to talk about everything I had experienced during the night shift and what I had discovered. However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. Then I received a phone call from Mr. Husso, Ho Hosio, a franchise leader who I had never met. I had a bad feeling about it. Then, with a shivering voice, he said, The manager is dead. I couldn't breathe. So it wasn't a dream. And when I asked about the place where it was found, Mr. Hosio said that there was an old storage behind a convenience store and he was found there after a day of his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could, because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me and I wouldn't be able to help but try to pass as quickly as possible so as not to look at the building. A day later, the store had closed down. The reason seemed to be due to poor management but further details were not publicized. At that point, I didn't have the means or the courage to examine it anymore. After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. One day, as I passed by the now closed down store, I heard a child's voice. There I saw a woman. There I saw the woman. When I looked in my hand, I had picked up one of the rusted nails that had fallen in the middle of the site. Oh, that's so creepy. Okay. That was a great game. I'm glad that I played it. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and the content in it, consider like, subscribing, and letting me know in the comments down below as it greatly helps me out. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell as we upload every single day. Thank you guys once again, and y'all have a great day.